decision 2012, President Barack Obama re-elected to a second term. Elizabeth Warren wins a decisive U.S. Senate seat, becoming the first female U.S. Senator for Massachusetts. BUTV News at Noon, concluding our election coverage special, Decision 2012. I'm Dee Dee Sun. And I'm Chris Costa. As you just heard, our lead at this hour, a Senate first from Massachusetts and a re-election win for President Obama after voters made their choices at the polls. <laughs> GOP nominee Mitt Romney arrived to the polls this morning to cast his ballot in one of the tightest presidential races in U.S. history. Let's take a look at the final electoral college results from last night. President Obama won 26 states, earning himself 303 electoral votes. Governor Romney took 23 states, including Indiana and North Carolina, both of whom voted for Obama in 2008. Today is election day and polls are active. Several voters have showed up to cast their ballot. I voted for Barack Obama for a second term. What can we expect starting, I guess, day one, you know, the second term of Barack Obama? I think a, a much less tentative Barack Obama. The crowd exploded with cheers and applause last night after it was announced Elizabeth Warren would be headed to the U.S. Senate. The Massachusetts Senate seat is of importance on a national scale. For Decision 2012, I'm Yanni Carter. For me, it was an honor to carry your flag, even if for a little while. The Scott Brown watch party did not end as anticipated. Who will win the seat held by Barney Frank for over 30 years? Will it be Joe Kennedy, who got his start serving in the Peace Corps, graduated Harvard Law, and was an assistant DA? New Hampshire's four electoral votes could be the determining factor in tonight's election. For Decision 2012, I'm Brittany Exum. Some great moments. Unfortunately, I blew it in the end. Too bad. As I say to people, I owe you all an apology. If I'd beaten Bush 1, you'd never heard of Bush 2, we wouldn't be in this mess. So, Regrets. Over the past dozen presidential elections, Candidates from the state of Massachusetts certainly have some.